need to hide them. I need to keep them safe. Because the one I have, they're almost worn out. This one. This one are almost worn out. And if if they mess get messed up, I can't I can't have nice ones like this. I don't know if they are better. I don't know whether they are better. I don't know, but I like them and I came to see this. I love them so much. I need to take them upstairs and put them in a nice safe place. I bought these ones when I was in Kenya. And I had two pairs because my old ones got cut, messed up, and I couldn't find better quality like the Kenyans one. Alright, now my guys, you have seen my bed. I've done my bed. Yeah, that's what I want. I wanted to show you. My sofa bed. It's very nice. It's comfy, but it's not something like uh, long last or uh, long term. It's just for when you have a visitor, so they can have a place to sleep, you know. And uh, for the time being, I have to, I have to sleep here because there's no another alternative. As I told you that long time, on, during my childhood, we were sleeping in uh, beds which were, we had a metal bed, I remember very well, but the leg somehow broke, I don't know why, I don't know, I can't understand. And my grandma used to put jerrycans to support the bed, four jerrycans in each corner to support our bed. And uh, the mattress were very thin, thin, and we used to, because we were young, we were wetting ourselves with wetting, and that make the mattress to worn out so quickly. And if you are elevated to sleep somewhere comfy like this, it is a blessing because there's people out there, homeless, sleeping, rough. These people going through war now who have lost their properties and for me everything is a blessing even talking there talking here now is a blessing for me standing is a blessing eating drinking going to the toilet even saying hello to neighbor for me that is a big reward I don't take it for granted because I know there's people out there who are super wealthy but they are bed bounded. There's people out there who are tycoons but they have cases which give them bad health. They have some issues which give them sleepless nights. They have some issues which give them insecurity now sometimes if you're blessed it come with consequences you understand and uh, that's why i am just grateful for the good things which are happening in my life and for the bad things which are happening in my life and i take them very positively the bad things as a lesson for my tomorrow and um, I want to say thank you for my new subscriber today. I got one new subscriber. Thank you. I appreciate, I respect, I cherish, I glorify, and I wish you all the best. Thank you for taking your time and subscribing on my channel. It means a lot. I don't take it for granted. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And... Uh, <laughs> What can I say? Uh, let me remind you again that my birthday is coming soon on the 17th, uh, on the 11th of April. 
uh, 2027 oh my goodness i've gone already to 27 ep <laughs> 11th april 2024 my birthday is coming and i am bleeding with you my secret followers or my lovely followers or my viewers kindly give me a big present birthday present which is called subscribe subscribe on my channel as a big gift for me and god bless you abundantly what is the time now okay uh, i kind of i don't know what's the time now yeah is 21:35 21:35 pm and um, today is on a friday and i'm grateful god have given me the strength to upload this week i'm so happy with uh, my work which i love and cherish and respect and i do it from the bottom of my heart this is something which i love i love being on the screen i love talking to people i love to show my reality life and um, i like to share my life with the world I live in the United Kingdom but I am originally from Africa Kenya. Now I'm just having my what's the word for it? A reality show of my life in the UK. And um I thank you so much for your time of watching may you be blessed i really respect your time thank you thank you so much kindly subscribe to my channel like leave a comment let me know where you're watching me from and share to a friend share share so we can be a big family big community Thank you so much. This is Judith Orero. I love you. Bye. Bye bye bye. Hello guys. Is Judith Orero here? Is Judith Orero here? I'm just reminding my followers. I'm reminding lovely people. Um I said this do in TikTok and uh, in uh, in YouTube as well. Some of my followers know this. My subscribers, some of my subscribers know this. And if you don't know, if it is your first time watching me, you're welcome. All of you. I'm just reminding you that we are on we are going we are we have been fasting for 40 days and the fasting will stop on the 30th of march 30th of march um our fasting is not uh, is not strict fasting it is um for those who are strong enough for those who are able it is fasting which start from midnight and it finishes by 3 3 in the evening now when you're fasting you can have water if it is your first time because first times up to the third time is very tempting 
but by the time you reach the fourth day you will be strong but the fasting is not that strict you can drink water and you can take you are allowed to take your medication if you're on medication you're allowed to take your medication and you can have um, something light like a uh, strong tea I don't know if you call it strong tea or you call it black tea, tea with no milk. And um, with fasting, just be very careful. When you're fasting, it should be your secret. You and your God, it should be your secret. Nobody else is not supposed to know whether you are fasting. You should not go out, start telling people, I am fasting. Or if somebody tell you, welcome, let's have a snack, you should not tell them I'm fasting. You can just say, no, thank you. Hmm? It should be your secret between you and your God, and you should be respectful. You should make other people happy, not upset them. And um, during this fasting, Uh, you should have your normal daily routine. It should not stop you from doing your normal daily routine. If you're working or whatever type of job, it should not affect you. If you feel too dizzy, just have a glass of water and continue. As I told you, it's from midnight. From midnight to three. Three, you break. When you break, you just start with maybe a cup of tea. Now you can have tea. Your tea, you can put milk. When you're breaking, it's fine. But during this period of fasting, that's when you should just take a strong tea. And uh, be prayerful. During the fasting, we should be prayerful. You should pray in your heart. Don't start praying loud, making noise to the neighbor. Don't do that. Just communicate with God. You and God. Why are you fasting? You're fasting because of your life. You're fasting just to appreciate God. You're fasting because of challenges you're going through. You're fasting for your family or you're fasting for your health. There's so many things going on. Ukraine, Russia. Congo, Sudan, I don't know where, Kenya, I don't know, other countries, I can't remember, I can't remember, hmm? politicians, some of them are just doing awful things deliberately, which those things affect generation to generation, hmm? There is a lot of reason why you should fast so God can fight your battle. God can fight your battle. Just go on your, in your house, go on your knees, even if you are at workplace, go on your knees. Wherever, even if it's in the toilet, even if in the store, in your workplace, go on your knees. And just make a short prayer. God does not need a long prayer. Your communication with God is very clear. It's just like somebody who is drowning in the water. There is nothing much you can say. You just say, God help me. Don't make it too complicated. Don't make your prayer too complicated. Hmm? That is what I wanted to remind because I haven't spoke about it for quite a while but I'm still continue myself sometimes I find it difficult until I break sometimes I find it difficult I find it very tempting you know I find it tem very tempting sometimes but let's continue we were meant to go for 40 days and deadline is on the 13th, 30th of March, 3 zero. 
30th of March. That is the deadline. And God bless you, wherever you are. For your time, I do appreciate for watching me. Be blessed. I wish you all the best, wherever you are. Kindly subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Let me know where are you watching me from. Thank you very much for watching. This is Judith Orero. Bye. Bye-bye. Judith Orero.